kids get after it Knew I had a different gift I'd outwork any other kid Deep within our souls We can feel there's something empty We need something more I feel destiny, she tempts me Tells me there's two paths They both have a different ending Choose wise and you'll find That pain leads to ascending Till I'm dead and buried Deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary I wanna be legendary Till I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary, I wanna be legendary And here we have him, Big Sticks Kernaham. How are you, mate? Good, boys, Rocco. How are you, mate? Good to see you. How are you, mate? Good Steve, to see you, boys. Good to see you, mate. And thank you very, very much for joining no us today on no the uh, on the jumper punch and um, legends of the jumper punch. Exactly. Yeah, look, 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 look what's right too. behind you, mate. Oh, yeah, You've got your own locker. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> number four. This is the There's, legends lockers. These are no bigger than they used to be in the old days. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a bit exactly newer. Same. A little bit newer. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, mate, you were next to. Uh, some big name lockers at the time when you first rocked up they gave you the number four mm -hmm. yeah. yeah who are you talking about well who would have been next to you <laughs> well, in the old days well, well, wayne, would have Johnson, been wayne johnson oh, kenny seven, sheldon would have been five kenny sheldon was number five he's yeah. over there he went to st kilda a year or two mm -hmm. later um, yeah. Steve Rui took over number four. Steve right? Rui. More Fitz Patrick, yeah. I didn't play with Fitz here, wasn't no. it? Richard dennis took them this Richard in 87 he came down seven flags yeah. so um, yeah. Number two, well, Greg Williams took it later in life. He was new mate as well. Yes. So, uh, who was who was two? The sauce was number one, of course. The sauce was number one. That's right. Eh? So the, oh, and Wayne Johnson was over at number seven. And that's it, John. Big John Dorich right. at six. Yeah, correct. Yeah, there you go. So as, you know, it's some older blokes when I got there, but uh, there was a new new filter coming through. So. I've got a question. Of this has been on my mind, right? So you played for your like uh, the great club Glenelg back in Adelaide, correct? Mm -hmm. Your dad played for Glenelg, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so you get kind of like they, they sign the they sign the thing that you're coming over to come, but you go, I'm not leaving mm. until we win a flag, because you promise your dad. <laughs> is that if they never won a flag, you would never have come over to Carmen? Well, I think the last year I'd run out of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> so we tied it pretty well. That is true. I signed a form four, which yeah. when I was about fifteen or sixteen. And I, I think I got a small amount of money from the old days for doing that. And I mean, I hadn't played senior footy. I played senior footy at 16 or 17. And, yeah, that's right. Um, I just thought, well, I'm playing with mates here for life. I'm, not, I'm going there. I'm, I'm happy in South Australia and hadn't even made it, made it then. So I thought, oh, if they want to give me something to sign there if I go, that's fine. <laughs> so I did. But I, as the years went on, they got stronger and stronger, the overtures, plus every other club from the Vietra were probably knocking on the door. So yeah, it's on that. Yeah, I, I, just, I did tell. I'll let you know if I win a flag, I'll think about coming in. But 85, I ran out of excuses and we won one finally, so I thought it was time to and come. And you played well that game? Think the Adelaide Grand Final? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, we, we won that game. We're five goals down, 10 minutes before half time, and went up two goals in front. We got seven in about 10 or 12 minutes, and um, we blew them away in the last half. Yeah. So, yeah, we got, it. we got it done that day. And what did you kick? A lazy. Uh, I kicked Five, seven. I seven. I got seven. seven. Yeah, I thought so. Seven, seven I kicked. I was lucky. <laughs> a couple of things fell my way. It was good. Nice. It was a great day. Great way to finish. You know, no, the club you grow up at and you play it and your dad played it and all my brothers played it. Were, that's, I think, that's why it's so important. I mean, I think that's fantastic that you said, you know what, I'm not going to leave till I win a grand final mm. and I'm going to on that like because you, you're the old man, you know, I promise you I won't. And, mm. and you win one. And then you come to camp, like, man, that shows leadership, man. That's fantastic. I think everyone, everyone thinks, yeah, for dad, but it, was, it wasn't for dad. It was, <laughs> like, it was my family, my mates. Yes. That was yeah, my, yeah, that's where I lived. So it was for all of them. Yeah. Mum, dad, brothers, mates. Your whole world. Why would I go to, why would I go to camp? Yeah. Even though they were paying more money than I was on the glue, well, I didn't yeah, worry about all that stuff, so. Didn't matter those days, I either. was happy. I was happy where I was. And uh, 22, I finally came, so um, I thought I was ready to of footy before I can. Our first taste in Victoria of oh. Stephen Kernahan was watching you 
in state games for South Australia against yeah. Victoria. Yeah. Generally speaking, the ones at, at Footy Park, yeah, which became work. Adelaide's home ground. Ten goals in 1984 at Ten the ripe goals. old age of 20. Ten yeah, goals yeah. in Who'd a state game. Who'd you kick them on? A couple of things went right that well, night. I know one of the guys. <laughs> we lost the kicked game, some of them on, on, on a Carlton well, legend. Up, he'd be up here for us, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's up here. He's He's a great man. Right behind Rocco. It's still my great pleasure to play to you with Bruce when I first got here. You know, it's my idol. I used to watch him on the winners yeah, yeah. on Sunday mornings. But uh, those state games, I was sitting the other week with somebody, and they were the best games outside of. You know, it's also about talent and, and how good those teams were. South Australia's team in the 80s, you know, McDermott's, McGuinness's and Platton's and Bradley's and Naley's and McIntosh's and the midfield, you know, they're just, yeah. there was 15 midfielders. There were some legendary players. And, and yeah. Johnny I, I, Platton. I, 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 John, yeah, I said John Ezra, mm. River, Greg Anderson. There's, yeah. there's too many of them to, to remember. Yeah. Michael Ace. Yes. I, I keep yeah. adding to it. And what it proved is we probably beat them as much as they beat us in the yeah. 80s. And, um, it proved that our best 20 was probably the equal, but I'm not saying mm. the comp, over here the comp, the depth was bigger here, but our but best you, but 20 your cream, the cream of yeah, South was Australia good, was so very, um, very good. And, and, and when we sort of came and, you know, at the start of the flood of a few other boys to mm. go in the mid-80s, so, it yeah, did. they were great days, great games, and they were on, they weren't, they weren't just uh, mm. going around the motions, because you played on Saturday in Melbourne, or, or, or your club in Adelaide yeah. then, and you played Tuesday? the Tuesday State game, then you played the club again on the weekend. That's so it was right. three games in seven days, and we all thought nothing of it. Yeah. Yeah. So it was great, you know, brilliant, yeah. we just went on with Is it a shame that, I don't think it can ever come back, but it's a shame those State games are gone now? It is, but yeah, it's been too long now, and they've tried to resurrect it. They had it doesn't some, they work, does it? All-Stars, they had the, the <laughs> yeah. sides from combined sides. Tasmania. Sides, and, South, yeah. New South Wales, all that, I mean... Once the in '87, when the you know what the Lions and the what the Eagles came in, and those sides, I think it just lost its luster yeah. a bit, and we, mm. it'd be great to recreate it like the rugby league has still got it. Yeah, well, um, that, that's huge, but they've South kept Lions, it like but, that. Um, yeah, we, we we lost that with the national comp, and but they were great games, and and no one ever take the blokes who played in those days it were all say some of the best and biggest games yeah. they played, and so yeah, and imagine like I can't I can't imagine this, but. You're playing against, you know, plays you played against, mm. oh yeah, and then all of a sudden they're your teammates, you know, yeah, so yeah. That's, that's, that's just amazing. It's funny, in both ways, like when, when I played in Adelaide, you know, playing against blokes, I was going to, I ended up playing with a few years later when I came yeah. to Carlton, so. Yeah. And I played, all up, we all played against each other every weekend in Adelaide, so. Yeah. Great sides, great memories. And, and Graham great Corns was your coach too in the South Australian Corns state was one team, coach. wasn't he? I had Neil Barmo, Neil Curley. That's right. Yeah, um, probably a few others too. I can't yeah. remember at the moment, but um, they were great we had the best coaches, and um, no, we loved it. We and but they didn't train us too hard. Corns was always a hard trainer. Here's my coach called Neil anyway. So oh right, okay. In the Premiership year, right. I mean, I played with Graham Corns, and he played with my dad. My dad recruited him for, from South Wella or from wow. Wella many years ago. Okay. So the Corns and Kernans got a great history together. So mm. was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, then of course we saw the end of an era at Carlton. At the end of 1985, they made a decision to swap coaches with Fitzroy, and we saw the return of Robert Walls to Carlton, mm. and David Parkin went to to uh, to Fitzroy. You were expecting to play under Parko, weren't you? I was. Parko and I'd known each other for years, and he'd come over and got to know him fairly well. And uh, well, I did get to know him well. And um, mm. yeah, when I well, finally said yes, he'd got the ass. <laughs> Rob, Robert Walls was here, so that's right. And, 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 you know, I was lucky to get two, like, two legends of the game, Robert Walls mm. and um, David Parker, so I knew Parker well then. It's good that Parker came back, though, wasn't he it? He came back, so yeah. I got the best of both of us. Robert yeah, Walls yeah. was a... Robert Walls made me from a skinny, skinny 80 kilo bloke who'd never done weights before, yeah. at 22, yeah. into a, a bloke who was 100 kilo, sent our forward, able to handle himself in, in Victoria. Yeah. And one year I went from... Walls just said, you got to get bigger, mate, so I lived in the gym. Yeah. I went from 87 kilos in my first year to... At the end of the yeah. end of that first year summer, I was 100 kilos. So. Is that the only wow. way you put on weight, just in the gym? I just lived in the gym. Wow. And, I mean, I, I drank a bit of coke and ate some fried say. chicken, but um, <laughs> but I was, I was I could eat what I liked. That's I how I put on weight over the years: the Kentucky <laughs> Fried Chicken. I was lucky I didn't put on I didn't put on ounces of stuff. I mean, they wanted me. I could I could eat what I liked and drink yeah. what I liked. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Wolsey made me. Realize a very what professional you, what you got to do to mm. be, um, yeah. you know what else was he did? 
made you captain in your second year. You did, yeah. That was so how, did, <laughs> how does that come about? Like, it, does he does he first come up to you? Does he ask you? Does he go, you're captain next year? What, what happens Or was there? it someone else that was yeah, involved? Yeah, or is there, what happens there? No, they, obviously, they, I mean, I, Wes Lops was still Wes Lops was the chairman of the match committee, and Wolsey would have told him we want to make Kearney our captain. Yeah. So they would have had to talk about the match committee because we had a lot of senior. We had, yeah. we had, we had yeah. a lot of the 71, Dominate, 81, yeah. 82 flag members there like blokes always Correct. just see on the TV having a drink on a Sunday morning after mm. training on after playing at Glenelg so yep. to see the, to be playing with these blokes let alone Martin McClure was my first captain was fantastic yes, I, I, had my, I had one year with Sellers and he looked after me fantastically well we interchanged between full forward yep. and half forward and yep. he was tough and it was hard a good year he, uh, I know we lost the grand final but it was yeah, a really well. good year yeah. and um, yeah. Yeah, as you said it's uh, that's what we were talking about then, but it, you know. How, 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 who, who comes about? Sorry, Wolsey. So, so you had Wolsey, Wolsey Lofson. Did, El, did John Elliott get involved as well as the well, president? I'm sure they probably would have asked John. John would have been across everything. <laughs> so the of course. Wolsey, Wolsey's the bloke who makes that call. They do yeah, it yeah. differently now. They go to the players and all that and comes yeah, back. Yeah. But the coach makes that call and then he gets it okayed by the match committee and the pres and the president goes about the board and we've alerted them. Mm. But Wolsey, I thought they were kidding. So I went to, they pulled me in the match committee after training one night. In the off season, Sellers had finished at the club. He was, a, he was captain then. I Sellers had taken over from Dominator, and Sellers, yeah. Sellers finished that year. I heard right just now. before that they told Sellers that you got the full support of the board. <laughs> and a couple weeks <laughs> later, he was well, that, gone. That, that yeah. happens a lot of times. <laughs> yeah, no, I really, I said, to, I think um, Wolsey was talking, but also Wes Loss was saying to me, and I said, listen, I don't feel that comfortable with it, and yeah. Surely, I'd like to speak to some of the senior players who don't feel that I've earned the right. I really did. Hmm. And they said, No, I think we're in there for quite a while. I was saying, No, I, I don't think you're right. You better think about it. They said, No, no, we made the call. Yeah. So anyway, I was, um, I was captain, but again, as always at footy clubs, your teammates, and I was only 20, just turned 23 oh, no. then. So, um, you know, very young. Not one bloke did anything wrong or didn't support me, mm. and all yeah. of that sort of thing. So I, I was lucky. We could have had 20 blokes who could have captained the Blues. I'm serious. So that was I was, a good I was lucky, side. and um, yeah, you know, so I took the job, and as said, they were looking for a new, younger group, and um, that's what we went with. And you now, lucky enough to have a good year that first, well, my second year, we lost the Granny '86, of course, and we won it the next year. Your so first year as captain, good. you're holding up the Premiership Cup. Yeah. How good was that feeling? Eh? That was good. That was great. That was great. Was How, what's the feeling like? We we ask mm. a lot of our, our legends this question. How does it feel when you first run out mm. onto the MCG the first time? Even though it was a losing grand final mm. in '86, but what was that like? We, Do you get, remember how it felt? We, you get a taste of it during the year because Carlton Collingwood and Carlton Essen and Carlton mm. Richmond even those days, no Richmond were. Yeah. We never ever were strong all the all the big city clubs all at once then. Yeah. Yeah. We'd still get 80 or 90 thousand to bloody home and away games. Mm. So. Yeah. To play in a couple of finals leading into those, we used to play a couple of finals at Waverley in those days yep. too, but to be at the G, I'd have a taste of it. Grand final day is something different and, um, mm. you know, you're pretty nervous and you feel like... Are you nervous? Well, I, th I was always nervous for any game. I don't care if you're playing in front of 5,000 at Glenelg. Yeah. Right? Well, I, I was nervous about how you perform, how you're going to go and are we going to win. So I, yeah. I was always nervous for it. But once you're out on the game, you just it's just what you do. You're just, is it true? Just play, you're just playing. I know this is true. Because so I play indoor cricket, and when I play in front of five people, the, mm. I, I can't hear them anymore, right? Mm. But playing in front of 90,000 people... <laughs> well, you can hear them. You can hear under But is there times people. where they're just silence? Like, you can't... Well, it's like more a buzz and a murmur, you know? Yeah. You hear the roar, it goes up and down when something mm. happens yeah. good and bad, and then there's a lull and it goes up and down, so... Yeah. It's more of a mad roar, it's a big roar, but... Look, I, I don't care what the crowd is. You just once you're out there and you're mm. in the game, that's you're just on. You're just doing what you know. Yeah, you're you're just doing what you train for, and and that's what you play for, winning no, flags. So we're lucky that, to get a couple. Thank you. That's I'm, what we play that's for right. to exactly. win flags. That's or what, what are we doing for. here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, correct. I imagine the feeling in the second year, being the captain of the team, would have been a slightly different one. Well, well. Well, You're yes, the one yes, who's no, leading the whole team out. Yeah, what, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying this modestly. I'm just saying that didn't worry me. I led the team out here yeah, and I tossed the coin. But yeah. when we're down on it, we're 22 blokes. Well, in those days, 20. It was 20 blokes. Yeah, 20 that's blokes. right. It was 20. We're, yeah. we're 20 blokes, and um, right. we, we're going to war together, and we're just playing. Now, yeah. I wasn't yeah. a, I'm not yeah. the captain now, but 
I might have spoken a bit more before games just when some bloke, because a lot of blokes are quiet, some are loud. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. And I, I sort of, you know, I didn't talk a lot, but I spoke a little bit and yelled and screamed a bit as time went on. But um, you, I, I gather that you're just being yourself, but did you yeah. get any sort of coaching or tutoring about leadership and, and how to be a good captain and all that sort of thing from anybody at all? Or did, no. did you seek any counsel no. from anyone? No, 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 no. We didn't have leadership. Just being yourself. We didn't have leadership courses. Maybe we might have had one, one or two here and there. But, um, I'm just wondering if back I then they just, sort of helped the captains out by showing them uh, the ropes no. a little bit. No? I just I played at Glenelg under a great leader in Peter Carey. And a few yes, he was there. a great, great player. Players, Graham Corns. Yep. Like, that's a great senior player yep. as I played with. So. Yep. Yep. I saw what they did, and yep. you know, when I got the I played under Sellers and played with Jono and Kenny Hunter. Yep. And Justin yeah, great plays. And we had, you know, Harmsy and, and Bucks and Kenny Shield and Roddy Ashman. Yep. And, you know, Pig Harms, all these guys. Just, you it's know, amazing, all these yeah. blokes, as I said, watch them on TV. So mm. I just, you just be yourself and go and play. So that was more of a, as you As you get into the role, I think, you know, you realise you're trying to keep the team up and down, you're trying to set an example. And, get things done but never did I think I'm not better than him or I'm I'm mm. different to them I just yeah. when you're out there play just play and you want to play your role correct yeah yeah correct that's what footy is still about yeah play it is your yeah, 100% role. Yeah. could I I think it's 30 years now isn't it Vince since Stephen Kernahan <laughs> kicked the goal that won us the match against Hawthorne, yes. correct, in 1993. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. We're not bringing up the week before. Oh, the week before, <laughs> yeah. No, no, but can we just, I know, I know that's like everyone remembers the kick, but I was there, right? You know what I remember? We're down a goal, and you take the mark, you kick the goal, and then you turn around and you sit there, everyone, get me that ball, mate. Mm. Get it to me and I'll finish it off, you know? I thought the draw was enough because it was like <laughs> 32 minute mark. And we, we were six points down, so I kicked that Correct. one right first one. Yep. Next one was in my hand again, so I'll try and tell everyone I got a bit tired. But, uh. Yeah, but hang on. A lot of people <laughs> concentrate on the kick that went out of bounds and whatever. But, but the fact of the matter is, if you actually you have demand. a look at the last five minutes of that game, if it wasn't for you, you we wouldn't have even been in a position to draw the game, let alone win it. I, yeah. don't, I don't tell this story often. You took often. some great marks and kicked some bloody good goals. It, it was an amazing seven days I had. Without, I, I, yep. We're talking about me, I suppose. I don't talk about myself, but only with you, good blokes. Well, it is the Stephen and Kern. <laughs> like that was an amazing thing. So that happened after that game. The, yep. Just before the siren, I kicked the first goal. The second yep. goal I missed after the siren. Yep. This is an absolute fact, and I'm not embellishing that. People can look, at that, look it up. Yep. The next week, I spent a hard week. We didn't lose the game, by the way. We drew it. We didn't lose it. We drew it. That's exactly That's right. right. We played Hawthorne out here. Yep. At three quarter time, I took a mark. It was a howling gale down the scoreboard end, as you blokes know. Yes, yeah, that yeah. Way. I remember. And it was outside 50. The siren goes, I'm not kidding you. You can hear the crowd go, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I bomb it through and I'm going, get. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty going, well, okay, there you go. And the 32 minute mark, last quarter again, with three points down That's or right. whatever it was, yep. I take a mark 40 metres out, straight in front, and I go, Shit's going to happen again. <laughs> so I raced straight back and went straight back, kicked the goal, the ball went back to centre. I no, just before you and go, on, I noticed that when you had that low one in the last quarter, <laughs> I don't think you've ever gone back and kicked the ball as yeah, quickly yeah. as that time because I didn't think you wanted to be there if the siren was. What's that? One, two, three, but there's you did four kick shots it. of goal yeah. after you... the siren and right yep. in the last seconds of a yep. game and a quarter in, in a week. So that was a but big week. But you did and you, and you won the. I reckon it was mm. sensational that the very next week you were in a yeah, similar position back. and you we just proved back. that you could win the game. It happened to me a lot in Adelaide and Isn't other it? places. It happened what about, you know what? Ah, I've, got, I've missed one goal I've, and that was the one. I've got you to thank. <laughs> in our premiership year of 1987, mm-hmm. on my birthday, which was round 22, yeah. the last game of the season at Waverley. Do you remember? I remember. Carlton, <laughs> North, Carlton versus North Melbourne. And you kicked... The goal after the siren to win the game gave us top position on the ladder. If you didn't kick that, that would have changed the whole complexion of the final series. I could have kicked. I kicked her right in that. Oh, it was a great yeah, goal. No, I kicked her right. Kick right in but days. then we got the we got the week's rest. Then we played at Hawthorne mm. in the second semi. We won that. Another week's rest. Yeah. Thirty-four degrees. And then 30, I think right. that really stood us in good stead, didn't it, for a hot day. Well, it helped because there were three games going on that we could have finished fifth or yeah, top. It was amazing. Right. It was exactly. quite amazing, the machinations. Hawthorne knocked off Geelong, and they yeah. would have finished on top of the ladder mm. if that kick didn't go that through after the sign. I'll tell you what, that game was 
Oh, that was a great game. It was like oh, both oh. kicked twenty goals. North yeah, so it was twenty-one great game. and twenty goals. It was a serious game. Yeah, yeah. So that was when people tried to score and went for it. Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. Nah. Get at the big blokes. That's, well, kick it for that's you. funny. You know, we talk about. I turned this. nineteen that day. Harmsy yeah. says this uh, that um, and Mark who said this too. In in Alex the, Mark who was one of the greatest blokes in the world. Yeah, right play. Yeah, he Another is. One. One of the funny. nicest guys. He's a good footballer, and he tells you that too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, they always say that they used to kick an average of 120 points. I think in their premiership year they kicked 120 they points, yeah. right? And now... 15 oh, yeah. goals is a bad day for right. the So now we're trying, to, we're trying to change the game to kick more goals, and I keep saying, but we were there. It's, yeah. How did we get to this stage, you know what I mean? No, but I can understand defensive that coaching. We don't need to go back to uh, defensive coaching Ruzi stuff. and Rossi. And yeah, yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, Marco's no, cluster, right. you know, with the everyone, flood, everyone's the flooding, flooding and, all that. and that's yeah. what it became going basketball, didn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, right. Night, but that's right. And North, after you beat them in that last game, I mean, they weren't happy all the way to the Battle of Britain, were they? They, they actually <laughs> came at you as hard. You played yeah, in that game. I was in the Battle of Britain, yeah. Like we'd, we'd won the flag. and um, that, North, was a North junk, North, that was a junket for you, yeah, boys, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. North had lost <laughs> by 20 goals with the Swans in the elimination final, I think. And yes. John Kennedy, who's yes. a hard, hard man, their coach. They were. Made them train day and night, I think. So mm. they were all ready for it. He was telling them, you're fighting for a place. We were getting over five and six in the morning. and. Yep. Had to play a game footy out two weeks after the grand final, so yep. we were in no position to be playing. And <laughs> I think that's, that game showed what happens when you're in a law, you think you're in a lawless game. There's no, you're yep. playing in London, yep. you're half pissed, yep. and you're playing out footy, someone knocks out one of your players, yep. and yep. then it's on, and everyone thinks, okay, it's on. It's a, and it so was. It was, was actually was pretty. Game. Yeah, no, it, was it, was it wasn't game. a good sight, you know. No. But, uh, John O'Regans, he's the only player in history that got reported while he was on report. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He, 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 he was, was actually suspended. Final. He wasn't allowed <laughs> to be playing. He didn't knock out Dipper, was not it? Uh, I can't remember. Well, he got two weeks oh, for the he, grand final. Yeah. And, and then for? he played in the Battle of Britain and got suspended again he while did. he was not meant to be playing. I'll tell you what, there's stuff going on behind the play in, in, in <laughs> London that day that you wouldn't want to see again. The <laughs> cameras bet, missed a hell of a lot. Geez. I bet there was. Yeah. So it was one of John Elliott's, um, you know, ventures with Foster's up to London and Bob. I think he bought yeah, Courage, Courage Breweries or something up there, we didn't he? We didn't mind going. We just didn't know yeah. to play going footy there. That's <laughs> right. That's right. And I don't think Wolsey was too keen on Wolsey was. He, no, threw he, a walk, he threw a walkie-talkie at Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. From just about got him in the head, didn't it? It's probably a walkie-talkie. was about that big one. Well, <laughs> those names are talking. Smashed all over the fence. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> and that, that, I'll tell you what, they don't mess with Wolsey. When he's... Uh, yeah. Did you guys celebrate yeah, enough that 87 Premiership? Yeah, we did. We had a great time. That's good. Part of the game. I remember being that we went to um, Dick Pratt's Hyde Park three level <laughs> mansion in London after the yeah. game, Carlton and North Melbourne. Oh, in London, yeah. Then, yeah, in, in London, London, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, just just oh. near Hyde Park, whenever we'll yeah. forget it. Yeah. We're going to have a look at this joint. Yeah. And we're all in there, and there's, there's about eight blokes in the hospital with broken cheek, <laughs> broken jaws. The <laughs> Alice, Alice Alice broken Clarks jaws. Oh, got hey, cut God. up, broken nose, cheek, man. Alice Alice the Clarks that was running around behind uh, goalposts trying to try to hide. Brucey Combin. Yeah. It was the yeah. goal umpire. With oh, blokes trying to bash it. Oh, really? It's a true story. Wow, unbelievable! I mean, but John O'Regan did got him before he made it to the he did, made it to the goalposts. They, <laughs> um, they got him. As we and broke, Bear, Bear came in. Bear too. came straight away. And yeah. Jimmy Buckley was told by Wolsey probably to yeah. make sure that bloke doesn't walk. <laughs> Bucks was on the bench. And he came on a quarter time before they let the crowd on the ground. This is true too. <laughs> before the crowd had got off the ground, Bucks was in the Clarks and was on yes. while the crowd was still getting off the ground. Yeah. So we don't a bit. We don't. We don't promote that sort of stuff. No, no, no. It was that sort of it. It was those days, but and yeah, and look, was. and and it could have really turned nastier than what it was. Yeah. Hey, well, you t- you could have got much more nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You mentioned one bloke there, Big Jack Elliott. Mm. Is he the greatest president we've ever had? He has to be. I love that bloke. Yeah. Well, look, at, look, he's polarised a few along the way. Yeah, yeah. But you have to. I, I, I like him because he's good to myself and my yeah. family. And uh, yeah. He wasn't, you know, John wasn't everyone's cup of tea, let's put it on the table, but he, yeah. um, but he, he was very loyal to the club, yeah. and he was loyal to the club, and he mm. he pushed for everything for us, probably a bit too far in the end, but um, I like John, I think most of the blokes that play footy at Carlton would, would say they, they like what John's done for us. Towards the end, we copped a bit of a whack for it, but we certainly weren't the only, only mm. club in the land that were doing some illegal shit behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> but did you get? But the, the thing about the John Elliott era, I think more than anything, is that 
and you would have tasted this when you came over, mm. that, that the culture of the club was one all yeah. built around success, wasn't mm. it? And it was it was expected that you made yeah, finals. Was. And it was demanded and it was unacceptable to finish second. Well, he never came wasn't down it? if you lost. John didn't come down the room. So if you won, it was front and centre. Yeah. But if you... Um, if you lost, he didn't come down. Yeah. So was, look, I mean, a lot of people didn't like that. A lot of some of the players didn't, but I didn't worry. I mean, it is, it is what it is. Sure. We're playing the game. It's the way it is. He yeah. expects excellence, and yeah. that was a, the taste of us trying to be professional mm. and, and get it done. Mm. If you don't win, it's the only thing that's acceptable is a win. So that, that was what Carl about. When I got here, they were, as mm. I said, they won 72, 79, 81, 82, and. Yeah, they'd gone. You know, missed finals the last couple of years. Lost in the most of final eighty five. So they used to playing finals and yeah. expected to win. Yeah. So that was drilled into us, and it didn't worry me. High expectations is a good thing. We went through some lean years. We'll just quickly gloss over those yeah. because we we saw the end of Wolsey in eighty nine. Jezza came for a yeah, couple yeah, of years, yeah. Yeah. and then Parco comes back to the club um, after three or four pretty lean years mm. out of the finals. And all of a sudden, you could just feel that there was this build, wasn't there? It was just a slow build. Eight, 91, he sort of tried mm. everyone and gave everyone a go, cleaned out a lot of players at the end of that year. And then 92, just missed out on finals. And then all of a sudden, well, 93, we, we made a granny. Well, sports. Could you see a, that coming? Well, we're just going back, just have to gloss over the yeah, sure, stuff. But, sure. um, the, not that everyone's career, everyone thinks it's all rosy all the way through, but mm. it's not. We're in no. tough times as well. And yep. course, sides change and senior players leave. And we, we got a lot of young blokes got moved into 87 flag side. Mm. We probably, you know, Wolsey always says it was a, you know, against some of the 79, 81, 82, it wasn't the greatest side. No. That side got it done against a, a, a really good side in Hawthorne. Yep. Yeah. There's some no, the so, so-called no-names yeah. like Shane Robertson yeah. and Mick Kennedy and Ian Aitken and yeah. guys like that. Well, that they're, they're not no-names. Well, no, what, no, I'm, no, what I mean no, by that is, you know what I mean, they're, they're, not, they're, they're not held up like and superstars. And, 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 you know, it changed quickly and we, mm. we had some lean years and tough years when Wolsey left and that was probably, we had a lot of senior players that had played with Wolsey and it went pretty sour quickly and that can happen. Yep. No one's folded just the way it went yep. down. Yep. The younger blokes were coming in. Yep. And then all of a sudden by 91 we'd been out for four years and, and Parco yeah. came back and that, that was good. So we'd all been starved of success for a while and thought when you're playing yep. one you're thinking of playing two and three and yep. you don't. Mm. So we had to start again a bit. Mm. Next bit of Parco's back and we, we got a bit better in 92 and um, yep. 93 we Anyone could have won 93, couldn't they? That yep. Was, um, well, it was open. 14, it was very open. I think 1 and 2. I think it was like 14 and 8. 1 and 2 at the end of the minor round. So yes, that's right. It was a very even year. And as you know, the grand final cross, we... You well, know, you went in favourites, we, didn't you? We, we favourites? I don't know. I think we were, you were favourites. Well, hang on, hang on. Because they were the baby we, we beat Essendon in the very first or night final. Yeah, I know. Right? A couple of like two points, points or three yeah, points. And they had three or four good players. They had about half yeah. a dozen good players and I thought, out. shit. Wouldn't want to come up against them again. Against yeah. Again. Yeah. Yeah. We, we'll all remember what happened in the prelim. No. Well, the prelim, it was all looking like Adelaide so was going to be We beat Adelaide. Adelaide next week had the week off. So we were there watching that. Yep. And these are these little moments in time, aren't they? Mm. No one remembers who mm. finishes second and third. That's right. Yep. They kick their seven goals down. It's yep. at half time. We think we're playing Adelaide. Yep. And they came back up and boom. So I'm not saying. Did that? I'm not saying that we would have won, but we would have been a better chance. Would have been a lot more Adelaide. confident. I think yeah, we, yeah. Just, we just put Adelaide away. It's yes. Whereas we come At Waverley, so. that's right. The second Did that, you know, when you're watching the game and you're thinking you're playing Adelaide, and like you said, you probably thought, oh, you know, we've got a nice chance against Adelaide. And then Essendon. Get over back. the top of them. Mm. Did that kind of like you play know, on like, your mind a bit? Yeah. No, I, I don't think you do. No, no, because Carlton and Essen were a massive rivalry, yeah. so don't think that mm. lessened anything. I was, yeah. f- I was fucking grilled that <laughs> Oh, yeah. Essen. I, I like playing against Essen. Yeah. I liked it. I wanted, we wanted that. Yeah, that's good. But um, we, we knew that they were a better chance of beating us than Adelaide. Yeah. We put it that way. That's what put yes, Adelaide that's what he's all. saying. It's they, not that they you're they intimidated were, by them. They were a new club. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we probably had their measure and they would have known that. Yeah. yeah. Against yeah. us and we knew, well, okay, fuck, well, it's a better. This is going to be tough because they, they should have put us away in that final if they had a full side. Yeah. The week before. So. Well, they would call them the baby bombers, but they still had a, a sprinkling of very oh, yeah. experienced players like mm. Timmy Watson and... Yeah. 
Bomber Thompson, the captain. And again, it was very went. even, not much in it, and those young yeah. kids all came into the yeah. legend yeah. of the club. They had a great game, that yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but we should that mention the that um, the best player on the ground for that day uh, for Carlton happened to be number four, kick seven goals. Yeah, I know. Well, you know. He had a good day didn't do, in a losing didn't season. Do anything, didn't yeah. do us any well, but... Uh, no, I know, but... It came on the other night during the off-season. You know, they played little bits before oh, the yeah, season yeah, starts. Yeah. And I was did you watch it, did you? And I... Seriously, couldn't remember. I know they put us away early. They really did. They did. But it was about eight goals, ten to two goals, two. two. Yeah. Eight goals, early two. in the second quarter. And I'm yeah. going, my God, you know, eighteen yeah. scores or something, and they, no. we just got smashed. No wonder we got beaten. All, all yeah. our blokes had their probably worst days. Yeah. Well, they got off to a flyer. Time. That's yeah, what really did. rocked us. And I think also. Yeah. Guys like Mill Hannah copped a bad yeah, knock, not um, yeah. stuff like that. So Dean Wallace accidentally ran in. It, un- it unsettles yes. you, doesn't it? Not, not. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then, of course, you know, the, it builds. Man. The logical reaction is we've got to go one better, like we did in '86 and '87, mm. and all of a sudden in '94, when you know, probably a lot of people thought we were a big chance to do mm. that. All of a sudden, the finals come around couple of key injuries, Bradley didn't play yeah. and we got knocked out in straight sets. Did you think shit the windows possibly closing oh, or the footy, the what the happened footy, at the end of that year? The footy world thought it was. We were all mm. too old and too slow to get rid of them. Mm. Finish them off and I'll never forget playing um, at Waverley that in that um, the game against Geelong. Geelong. Yeah, the, the they had three late outs. Yeah, they had three late yeah. Couch, Bearstow, Hockey. Couch, Bearstow, Hockey. What did Hockey. you think? Like, you would have had that news. Is that like a bit yeah. of, oh, that's that's good? Diesel, Diesel said to me, Sticks, they're all three of them out. I said, Don't worry, and don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so something else in. Don't worry about it, mate. Just control the arm. He said, They're all out, they're all out. <laughs> Shit. And I yeah. thought, Well, that's good. And so that's I don't a know bit what of complacency, though. Um, Geelong, that sort of. Geelong were always that sort of side in those yeah. days. We could get them yeah. pretty easily yeah. sometimes, and then one day they'll get you, and they could beat anyone in those days. So yeah. I think um, yeah, we just had a bad day that day too. And yeah. um, and I think we had, we had a lot of blokes that were, I was only really 30, Greg and I were 30, and so was Brattles. And, um, but that was 94, so we're 31, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's we're right. We're a bit like Geelong were this year, so everyone was yeah, saying you've got to change the side, get rid of the old blokes and mm. move them on. So. Anyway, the, the rest is history. We still it up for another year and got it done. Well, isn't it ironic? You just mentioned Geelong of last year. Mm. They essentially did what Carlton did in '95. They won 16 games in a row, which culminated in a grand final win. They had all of these guys over 30. In fact, they had more guys over 30 than we, what we, we did. We had eight. Probably. Yeah, they had about 11. Over 32. We'd they had about 30, 11. We turned 32 in September. Yeah. Yeah. But you had a good... But it just goes to show that even though you've got an, an older list, they're, they're very experienced, yeah. they're very capable, and, you know, you a lot a of them are just champions of, um, of the game. Younger players yeah, too, Andrew like... Yeah, Andrew come in, and yeah. Campo had come in that year. Yeah, that's right. Cooter and Ange have become stalwarts yeah. and great players, and... Glenn Manton came Glenn out of Manton from Manton. Manton played well. Yeah. Yeah. Dean Rice, you know, and then you Dean had... Dean Rice a couple of years well, we had Yeah, um, a couple of years yeah. later, but... Yeah, well, our, our half forward line at '95, of course, was um, mm. was Clapo, Spalding, and Ross. Three, that's, that's a not, tough. Not all, discards, all other that's sides. Not I call them, but they were all from other sides. And yeah, that was yeah. the hardest, toughest half forward line of all time, and allowed me to go back that soft, yeah, soft yeah. forward, forward, forward <laughs> era and, and try and do something back there, but. Um, <laughs> Because yeah, you no, wouldn't exactly. have wanted to get in the way of Earl Spalding back in those days like Guy no, McKenna no. did over in Perth. No, Remember that game? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So one by one. Spalding like a 12. Yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> a good eye throw. That's what Duke was there for. We call him the yeah, Duke. Yeah, the Duke, yeah. That was there to be Duke of Earl. just create a contest. Brand special year, though, wasn't it? Mark. It was a great special, His special year. His kicking got great. better over, not yeah. overnight. Mate, he was terrible at the start. And then all of a sudden, he shortened it up. I don't know what he did, but, mate, he became so accurate after that. I think a few of my mates would say no, but I'm happy to hear you. I'm happy to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a great year. We had, you know, we, we got stung and we... We got for the first time the club got a um, psychologist in Anthony Stewart and he yes, talked to us that. and David Parkin said that. Yeah, he always said that. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why are you, why are you doing all the talking? You've got the biggest asset here. All these old blokes have played right. 250 games each. Why don't you tap into that more? And we sort of had a hand in training and all that up. But Parko exaggerates the bellish, but Parko is still the main man, of course. <laughs> but we had more so in training and how we played and. and, and how the game was done. So you led that way. You led that group there, all, didn't you? Obviously, all as the us, captain. All of us, yeah. And, and but Parker, Anthony Stewart put it on the table. Parker, God love him. 
Yeah. So in other words, delegate a bit. Delegate. Yeah, let yeah, the yeah. let the guys lead the way. I think that's important, man. Mm. When you give people mm. responsibility and delegate, I reckon they they lift a level, mm. you know. And don't think Dave Parker wasn't still front and centre of the coach <laughs> and the man we bloody were scared of. Still. Yeah. Don't worry about that. But Robert Walls. Sure. And, sure. And, uh, Rob Walls and Dave Park and have two of those blokes coaches, they're great friends of mine to this day, yep. great mentors to me and to a lot of those players. Yeah. Still, and, and we're very lucky. And, and Parko, to do that, is it experienced and how long he'd been in the game for to move mm. over the players a bit more than normal. That was a good thing. So it all went well, and you're right. I tipped that Geelong thing. Like middle of last year, I said, they're the same as us. Yes. They've got eight or nine yeah. over 30. Yeah. Half of them think they're done yeah. from losing the premier finals like we had. They're going to get it done. I was done. telling you it last year. Halfway right? half half through last year, so they're, doing, they're doing another Carlton of 95. Right I, handed, I handed um, jo- Joel Selwood over two t- t- other games mm. report, and I said in my speech, I said, remind me, I said it then, you remind me so much of the Carlton 95, senior players, yep. had a couple of yep. strong side, lost a couple of finals. Yep. You're ready to go, and they were so. Not, no, not saying that's. And they lost the grand final two years earlier, like yeah, we did. did. So it's very because we lost so 93, similar, 195. Yeah. They lost it in 2020 mm. against Richmond over mm. there at the Gabba, and then two years later they win the yeah. premiership. Just be of the, the older blokes. Don't mate. ever We're underestimate the age. Don't get rid of the old blokes too early. Yeah. <laughs> that's old blokes, right? You got a bit more salt in your hair these days. That's why we had yeah, I'm, 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 I'm had a lot. At least you got some. I'm losing all mine. And Rocco. Well, no, I lost it. I, I lost it watching, so watching all the boys. My, all my account mates have we played golf, golf trip every year, about 15 or 16 of us. Yep. Half a ball. Yeah. yeah. Half I was, was going to ask you. It's well, a trend now. It is, now yeah. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I would suggest that this year, you, Craig Bradley, Greg Williams, Maybe one or two others are all turning the big six up. Why are you reminding me? Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. We are. Where'd that go? And we're talking about you guys I when you're in your early 40s. 30s. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, it's gone quick. It's gone it has quick, gone quick, isn't it? Why and and you know what? The grand final you. this year is on Greg Williams' birthday, yeah, just like right. it was in 95. He won yes. the, he got he the North 32. Smith medal. Yeah. Yeah. He turned 32 that First day. First time he's ever allowed someone to take him out of the middle of 55. He's telling me to get out get out of the 50. That's my area, <laughs> did he tell you to get out of the golf spin, did he? Yeah, yeah, God love oh, it. No, we've got a good year of 60. I'll never forget that, though. Thank God COVID's all done, and um, oh. I'll, have, I'll have some good catch-ups with some great mates. Well, we see each other all the time anyway. So. We've got to ask you something about the 1995 season. Mm-hmm. We could have had a completely unbeaten season, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have. We lost the well, two. Heat. Yeah, well, that's what I'm asking about. Well, two we, games well, that you we, didn't play in. Well, Diesel didn't play. The witness yeah. those games. Right. Yeah. So is that the reason why we, we lost? lost the game? Do you? Is that the reason why we lost? Well, Diesel thinks it is. I heard there was a few. <laughs> I, thought, I heard there was a few houses bought as oh, a result. Yeah. Oh, I broke my games. hand. And Diesel did something. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we came back, we beat Hawthorne, we lost those two games, St Kilda and Sydney, and mm. we beat Hawthorne by 100 points, so we never looked back. That's right, yeah. when yeah, you came week, back, you lost You came that. back. I think there are, you alluded to the rumours that one of a short little fat bloke might have won some money on Carlton during the year, <laughs> that played in the middle. <laughs> Oh, I, don't, I can't say well, exactly. I'm still might be after a rule was broken. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is a the little bit. pretty good. The handball pretty good. Yeah. He might have. Oh, he might have won something. All I know. All I know is as a result of those two games, that the only James Cook that's worth talking about is the one that settled Australia. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we had another another key position player that year called James Cook that um, <laughs> didn't play in the finals. Let's put no, it that way. Yeah. No, that's no, right. That's one again. Um, but anyway, look. Um, yeah, it was a it was a year for oh, wow. It would nah. go down as one of the most uh, successful years in Carlton history, and um, no, it was good. It was a lot of a lot of blokes um, that worked hard for them. Mm. It just shows you how other you think when you win one when you're yeah. fairly young at eight, in, in the eighty seven. Yeah. Yeah. when I was, I was twenty, was it twenty three, turning twenty four. Yeah. In Adelaide, I won one, and then Carlton two years later. I yeah. think you'll keep winning them, and then we'd go nowhere until mm. ninety five. We well, yeah, we played in Grand Final night three and finals night four, but. Took us another seven or eight years to get there that's again. Right. So they're hard to win. And they are, that's going right. There's other good teams out there. That's why you don't, you know, you don't take it for granted. You don't know what, no. when's your next. And then, like they say, like young. I, I bet you you've talked to young kids, and they go, "Mate, it goes quick," and they don't realise mm. until it's over, and they yeah. go, "It did go quick." But since we're there now, we're talking about come two twenty three yeah. here. I'd rather talk about that every day. So how yeah. are we going? 
Well, we're not right last Thursday night. Yeah, we went good we're last Thursday night. Yeah, 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 no, no. We beat Geelong last right. Thursday. That's I was right. so wrapped up. I went to Geelong. Jen and I went to my wife and I went to the <laughs> Richmond game. And um, yep. The you know, last three times I've been to the G with the Melbourne game, the Collingwood game, and the oh, Richmond game, and I think, my terrible. God, these last five, last couple of minutes of games, we're not handling that well, and it cost us badly. But mm. um, you know, last Thursday night we got challenged again, and they actually held on. And yeah, you know, without let's put it truthfully, we should have won that game by six or seven goals. Yeah, without Cameron on the other side. That's true. We put you long away pretty comprehensively. We haven't done that to a good side for a yeah. while. We yeah. did last year, so yeah. we did put some good sides away yeah. last. Year. But that was. Um, I think we're not that side still, you know, like yeah. to put sides away. I was just wrapped that no. they they held on those last couple of minutes. It's a win for me too. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking, man. We, I'm telling you, we we celebrate at the end of the game like the, the Cullen supporters went crazy mm. at the ground. They were just yeah. so excited and relieved. Know. I think and relieved. I think there's a bit on. of relief, you know. The first win for eight months. Yeah, no, I right, know, but with six that. months we didn't play footy. Nevertheless, it's a long time between drinks to, to sing yeah. the song after a game. I saw, most ga- I saw every game last year like you guys did. And yeah. Um, yeah. some of that play, those first ten games of the year against serious opposition, I'm talking about Sydney, yep. yes. Port Adelaide, yep. um, Bulldogs, when yep. the Premiership, yep. one of the Premiership favourites. Richmond. The time. We were in Richmond. We were nine goals ahead before half time mm. a few of those games. Mm. Yes, we nearly lost the games, all of them, but we held on to the end. So yeah. what happens there? Well, I don't why do we? Why don't did know. we keep like? Why did they keep like? We kept giving up that that big lead. Why? Oh, well, we didn't give it up. But why did they diminish that lead? Why did well, that, that keep happening? That, that the concentration, new, or what is well, it? They had a new coach came in, and obviously mm. he's getting those players, and you know they come from sure. pretty well rock bottom the last three yeah. or four years. Yeah. Trying to, it hadn't worked. What it? You know, we had a rebuild a number of years ago, and you know we just. It, Taking a while to come yeah. to fruition, hasn't it? So it's been yeah. a lot of years in the mm. doldrums, but mm. sometimes you just can't get it. You can't get it done at the end. And yeah. you've got to learn to, how to win. And yeah. look, you know, they held on those games, which is a good thing. But some of the yeah. footy played early in that season it was we were fantastic, electric, man. and that, I thought, yeah, there's something, there's something there, isn't there? And of yeah. course, we've got a pretty good spine, which is pivotal to playing in finals and winning flags. We could and have if we keep adding a bit around it as we have. We could and have one of the best spines, don't yeah. you reckon? We could have one. We could potentially have one of the best spines going around. If you, you think about it, so Kai and Kerno up front has yeah, got to be good. pretty. Wetter and Cripps, Cripps can play a bit. Yeah, um, Big you know, and, and if McGovern and Young can hold down centre half back, yeah. Yeah. you know, they're promising players. And um, you know, yeah, we've got some, we've got some talent, but that doesn't mean anything. No, to you. Yeah. it's a win-loss business, and until you get, okay, yeah, was it the, um, you know, the uh, Hall of Fame when and, and the, yep. The live yeah. members night the other night, a thousand of people, was fantastic night. Yeah. The age of voice, my great mate, yes. inducted. In I the was there. Hall of Fame. Fame. Yes. I was there. And uh, I had 48,000 lunatics come up to me <laughs> saying, top four this year, top four. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm going, I'm going, hey guys, Relax. settle down. We're going to make the top eight before we get the top four. Let's exactly. just think about making finals. Let's win what we should. That's right. I'm exactly. sure Vossi's building them. And, you know, mm-hmm. whether it's this year or down the track, we got to, That's our aim, but we're not there yet. And until we are, yeah. Um, you know, you just got to keep winning what we should win, yeah. and you know, win those close ones are important. Aren't they? Can you see us making finals this year? Well, I can. Well, I mean, we should have made it last year. Let's yeah. put it on the table. We yeah. beat Adelaide. We're in the finals. What's the last four? I know. That's right. And that's, yeah. right. that's the facts. Yep. Yeah. So, and we look. I'm not. This is a card show, so I can talk about it. Yeah. The facts are, we had three of the best midfielders out against Melbourne Collingwood. Should have yeah. won both games. Yep. And they will end up being premiership favourites, those two. We should have yeah. won those games. Anyone who loses their three best midfielders, you're in a bit of trouble. It's hard. Especially you've got six and you lose 50% of it, you know. Yeah. And, like, how good was Hewitt coming in? Like, I didn't He's expect... Star, how good He's is star. he? He's best player against yeah. Richmond in round one, I think. I reckon Cribs owes him a bit of the brown. I reckon he's one of the reasons, you know, like, Cribs won the brown low, man. Hewitt's hard work, you know. Yeah. Cribs started doing... Three's up Kennedy yeah. and Hewitt. Cough and Kennedy Walsh, shows. Cribs allows... Chera. No, Chera. They all yeah. allow Cripper to do his yeah. work. And then um, there's just more of our good blokes and there's a stock Cripper on his own now. So that's a good thing. And, mm. But, you know, finals is... You know, don't worry about finals. Just win what you should win yeah. and that'll look after itself. Mm. It's a win-loss. You need 12 games plus, right? So... We would have won 12 well, We won 12 last so week. Last year. Round 15, we'll know where we go. We'll yeah, 100%. We'll nearly everybody. Everyone goes, everyone's panicking about sides at a Norton 2 now. Mm. So, you know, it's just alarm. It's right. right. Just watch the chill. Team. Chill, everyone. You'll know by about round 15. That's right. It. Some sides might know by round 5 or 6. But That's yeah. true. Hopefully we... That's know, good advice. If our boys keep playing, do their roles, 
I, I can't be yep. personally I can't be happy Voss is a is a man who commands respect for yep. what he's done uh, what he did on the field and how he coaches now and yep. he's got a great team underneath him we were all run by Brian Cook as CEO Luke Sars and Border settled which is the way it should be and all we have to worry about is playing the game on Saturday. We won't yep. play Saturdays much anymore. We'll be doing it. We'll play Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Sundays, but you know you're a good side when you you're playing I mean? a lot more Friday nights <laughs> yeah, and Thursday yeah, that's nights. That's true too. That's true. So that's where we're, yeah, we're at. So that's right. Hope, hopefully, if they keep improving, we, we've got a good side that can do damage to good mm. sides. So. Yeah. Let's hope they develop in the next few years. We've got something really good there. Well, I think so. Can I just take you back just for a second? Yeah. Um, you played 251 games, and the second last of those was your 250th, and it was in Adelaide, in, Adelaide, yeah. in a victory. Yeah. Was, that, was that something pretty special to you? Well, it wasn't. Well, sorry. It wasn't. Not, not that it was about me, but I, I had a calf. I had the calf all years, the dreaded. I remember. You had the calf, that's the good one. You could so hardly done, walk mate, in your last my, game. My I remember were, that. My Achilles were that wide. Yeah. I kept yeah. doing my calf. I never pulled a muscle in my life. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. I, I had to break a jaw to miss a game. Mm. And, um, right. And I, I kept doing it. And against that Adelaide game I, in the rooms, I knew I'd done it again. So I went out. <laughs> that was in your 250th game, right? I walked out with my daughter, Ellie. That's right. And holding hands. And um, I'm going, geez, how am I going here? When I got warmed up, I wanted to go to a couple of miles, kicked a goal. Yeah. When at quarter time, I didn't come out after quarter, I couldn't move. Couldn't move. And stupidly, I played the next week. That's right. Because no one knew it was probably my last game against Hawthorne. I, I did. I was. No, it was against Richmond actually. It was against Richmond. Sorry, yeah. no, sorry. Yeah. It was here. At, no, that's all right. We should play the Hawthorne. Richmond. I'll sat, keep you honest. I sat, in, I sat with Stephen Goff for the whole game. And, yep. Um, on the. I remember you could hardly run. Bradley was injured. He could hardly run. I, I was. I was stupid. I said I'm fine. I, I, I told him I'm right, and I wasn't. Do you know, that, ga- do you know that game? If we had won that game, we would have made the finals. Yeah. And if we lost it, we were out of the finals. I don't think I And we lost by two game. points yeah, in the yeah. last minute of the game. Well, we lost. I might have cost it. <laughs> no, no, no. I think that what, si- that's what that signified to me was it's the end of an it's era. Because yeah, after yeah. that game, you retired. Williams. Earl Spaulding retired. Yeah. Um, Greg Williams? Dude, Greg Williams dude's retired. Dude's retired. retired During that year, Justin Madden retired. And it was just like, okay, all yeah. of the guys that are 34 or, or more are all the boys retiring. did. Yeah. Aaron Hamill and Lance Whitten all yeah. grew up and the yeah. crew to lifted to a new level. And ah. yeah. We played a grand That's final right. in 99. That's yeah. right. Isn't that great? That's what it's all about. Brattles was the only one who was sort of at now. 34 that kept going until he was nearly His 40. His only bloke I know at 39 <laughs> was disappointed when he got <laughs> the <right>. flick. <laughs> Well, not remember that? When, he, when he was retired. That's right. <laughs> he he's still play now. Do you know, do you know something about, about Brett? Do you know something about Brett? I think I know everything about Brett. In the last of his 375 <laughs> games, do you remember where he played it? No. It was at Princess Park, right here. Yeah. It was against his old side in Port Adelaide. Yeah. I and he got agent. three Brownlow votes yeah, in his, his last, last game. game. So that's why he would have been a bit And he got upset. injured. <laughs> he got injured about when 15 minutes. he got told minutes. it's time to go. <laughs> he got injured. Sorry, he retired himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he got injured. That was about the third last game of the year, I think it was, or third or fourth last game. He got injured in the last 10 or 15 minutes of that game, yeah. never played again yeah. for the rest of the season. I've never seen a freak. We saw Brits get sacked player. at the end of the season. Mm. In comes Dennis Pagan and says, I can't guarantee you a game next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. So, well, yeah. Look at Craig a Bradley, he? who's a freak at 39. He was. He was brilliant. I still reckon Bradley's 59 now. I still think, I'm going to get a kick out there. I reckon he could too. I reckon yeah. I could get 30 <laughs> easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, one, no one tags anyone. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's still the fittest 59 year old on that. You know what? Is. It, oh my, what to a me, as, as a Carlton fanatic back, the, back then and now, Bradley to Kernahan was like, you know, court marsh bold lily in, yeah. in cricket. Yeah. Seriously, how many of your 738 goals could a you lot. thank him for? And then I, he used to put it down your throat then, that many times. Then there was two of them, Diesel, doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Diesel too. So, yeah. Look, well, Bradles and I, we knew each other since under 12 well, state mates, primary right? school cricket. Wow. We Were just, you mates? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah we still are. Under 12s. In, wow. We played under state football when we were 11 year old in primary school. Cricket and So football. 50 years you've been friends for. Yeah. yeah. Still best He's a good cricketer he's too, a great, right? He's a great he's sportsman. A great man, he's, he's a good cricketer, wasn't he, too? He's a great. We played Shield. Brothers mm. played Shield cricket. He did. With South Australia and Victoria. So yep. that's how good he was. He played district cricket for Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Tally Ho boys, really remember them? Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Warren his Ayers great mate Peter right? King and all yeah. that. His, his mates with him. I, I was at Peter King's on the MCC. I was sitting with him at the <laughs> end on Thursday night against Richmond. So, yeah. Brattle's great sports. You still catch up with Brattle's down there? He's a seven handicap at golf at 59. Oh. 
He um, still runs and trains. He does a whole lot. He's still what's your tell handicap? Me that he can, what's your handicap? I'm off 12, but he's got me. <laughs> he's got they, me. They tell me <laughs> Brattles can still outrun most of the current players around the... Around the well, don't, don't what do they do? Around he Prince's Park? Can. He probably can. Yeah, he yeah. knows exactly what times he does. He's, he's unbelievable. He's doing the boot test on his tennis court for years. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Psychotic rattle, so that's enough, mate. Take it easy. It's anyway. time to slow down. That's no, it. Well, six. Great, great mate of mine. What can we man. say? 251 games, a record 738 goals. No one's ever kicked more goals for Carlton than yourself. Um, 11 times in a row, leading goal kicker. Uh, captain of the club uh, from 86 through to 97. It, and it was a record at the time, 226 games. That was an AFL mm-hmm. record until last year. I okay. must ask you that. Joel Selwood overtook you last year. How did that make you feel? Well, I thought, well, it was a bit like, I took over the great Dick Reynolds. He held it for a long time. Dick yes, Reynolds, I don't know what his last game was, but it would have been the 50s or 60s. In the 50s, yeah. I think. 50s or 60s. So, I, I, I had it for 20 odd years. That's, that's pretty it's not bad. Nah, it's not what a bad. What a great bloke to give it to. Oh, he's an inspiration. And that night, they invited me down there to do something. That Is that right? And yeah. I was so a bit humbled by it. He's mm-hmm. great mates with um, the Hawk, yes. Tom yep. Hawkins, and he spoke, and he spoke yep. about myself before. Jeez, I was humbled. I'm in the middle of the MCG before they're going to play a game. Wow. And well, I, I thought it was ironic. Was fun, on the yeah. front bar, two mm. weeks ago, they had Joel Selwood yeah. after mm. round yeah. one, mm. and then they had you on yeah. uh, this yeah. week for round two. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, well, one, record, it's, it's run, one record holder I after another. Better bloke to give it to. Nah, he, that's he's what a, I thought. All great. my relatives want to try. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sneak up and <laughs> kick him legs, break his legs. He won't be able to play So I think my family members, not my yeah. brother, or maybe my brother, yeah. my, or my two brothers. No, I, I, was star- I was starting to give everyone your, uh, your, your statistics. Three time best and fairest, <laughs> seven times all Australian. I mean. Nah, Legend of the, of the Carlton Football Club, AFL Hall of Fame, mate. What else can we say? But thank you so much for it's your right, time. Right. Thanks, right. thanks, man. It's been a pleasure. Not only are you a legend of the Carlton Football Club and of the AFL, but Rocco, now you are a legend of the jumper punch. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's that's at the think, top of the tree, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in this show can go places. Look at Vincent Rocco. This <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. This no, is no, I'm behind the show. Every night, every way of the week. I Beautiful. love it, love it. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks for having us, boys. Thank you. Go, go, go Blues. Go Blues. I'm yeah. to find that pain leads to ascending. Till I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery. I will fight, never weary. I want to be legendary. Till I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery. I will fight, never weary. I want to be legendary.